Welcome back, VST here, Galaxy Peace Tech. This here is my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. This video is going to be about Android launchers. But because there are so many, really many, many Android launchers, I'm gonna focus on the top three. The one that I've used, that I still use on some of my phones, the one that I do believe deserve your attention and me making a whole dedicated video. For some of those launchers, I did also individual reviews, so don't forget to check up all the cards there. And also check if you are subscribed to my channel or not. If, if not, I've, I've just stated it's a mistake, so please fix that one, subscribe, and let's start. Now, as you can see, guys, I'm using here the standard One UI Home Launcher. How can you tell? Just hold a finger like this, then you can go to the settings, and about home screen, you're gonna see this is One UI Home. Now, what is the easiest way to change a launcher, guys? Very easy. I already installed all the launchers, by the way, on my phone. So go inside settings, just search for apps, then choose default apps. Under the default apps, you have choose default apps. And inside, guys, you're going to have something called home application. Just by showing all the options for a default home app or launcher, I think it's quite obvious that's the Niagara Launcher, the Nova 7, and also Ratio. And of course, I'm going to start with the first one. That's going to be Nova, guys. So, boom. I right now applied my Nova Launcher, and some of you might just scratch your head and think like, okay, is this guy playing around with us? Is he messing um, with us? Because this pretty much looks exactly like when you're at home. A while ago, I did a video that you can check here how can you customize the Nova Launcher in a way to get the familiar One UI home feeling, all right? And I can tell you guys, it's really not so straightforward. I had to tweak a lot of settings to just get all my icons, get all my folders to just really simulate the One UI look. Also, of course, here, get all the icons that I use on the smaller part of the screen. So if you wanna check, here the full Nova 7 launcher video. And by the way, I also uploaded my configuration, guys, that you can just go inside and import. But enough is enough, guys. The Nova launcher is probably the most customizable launchers from the commercial ones. Of course, there are many other, but this is really my top choice. Not only can you achieve a very familiar, very similar look to the One UI home screen, but you have tons of options, guys. And just going inside in the settings, will give you a good idea. You have options on the home screen for the app draw, for the folders, for the search menu, the look and feel, the night mode, the gestures and inputs. It's really crazy. There are also integrations with several other applications like the Sesame shortcuts, notification badges, backup and restore. I told you from here, you can go inside and just try to import my configuration if you like it, and etc. and etc. and etc. So this launcher is really very powerful. What I do like about this launcher is not only that it's just giving me this one UI home feeling look, but I also, guys, can play with the transitions and the animations. Some minuses, by the way, when I just open some of my folders, guys, you will not find the familiar one UI home blur of the background. I thought it's a setting, and probably it is, but I'm not able to find it. But that doesn't really matter, guys, because the top feature of this launcher is really speed. Nova 7 is just built for speed, guys, okay? So just see what happens here, guys. I'm just going to open the app drawer. It's really like crazy. There are almost no starter in the animations, which pretty much shows me that the Samsung Z Flip 4 hardware is just capable, you know, of producing a very smooth UI, something, sadly, that you cannot still achieve with the One UI Home due to various reasons. And if you want to see really my deep video about Samsung standard gestures and animation, check this video here. So you can play with all the options, with all the transitions, you can play with the feel and look. And I will really tell you guys, if you are looking to get really the most customized launcher, commercial one, then don't hesitate, go for the Nova. This launcher can really meet all your requirements. Okay, just see here guys, I can go access my search apps. If I do like this and hold my finger, I'll get access to my recent menu. The notifications are still the same. They're integrated as part of the standard One UI. So you can really tweak this launcher to get the perfect view for yourself. All the animations, guys, see here. I'm just trying to do some apps opening and closing so that really you can get a feeling, right? The apps opening speed of the animations is really, really crazy, guys. I'm just gonna open some more so that you can check. I'm also gonna open Twitter, guys. See, Twitter opens quite fast. The scrolling even, scrolling even, I think it's a bit better, although that's just placebo, right? But apps closing and apps opening is just, just, just perfect, guys. So this is here 
choice number one. Let me show you now the others, guys, and I promise you, you'll find them very interesting. I'm back to my default home up menu, and this time, guys, I'm gonna select the Nike launcher and... I mean, this just speaks for itself. If you thought that you're gonna get something like the novel launch in terms of looks and feels, then you're absolutely wrong. But just think about the name, guys. What could be the reason that this, this is named Niagara Launcher, guys? So you probably know that's the biggest waterfall on the earth. And I will show you the reason, I promise, what we can see on the main screen, that's the main screen of the Niagara Launcher. I have my Samsung stock widget with the time and also the weather. And then I have some of the apps that are favorite. So for example, Telegram, let me just show how it opens. Really also very smooth in terms of animation. Try just to open Twitter, again, opening Twitter. And every time you do exit, you have this nice bouncing effect. Now, back to the name. Okay, you already see here, guys, all these letters. And all right, I have to show you guys. Just by scrolling like this, you're gonna get access, guys, to all of your applications and if you go back you will get this very neat very clean very simple lock screen now have in mind i have selected here all these applications but you can really fine tune this to your taste and something else guys see here not only have i access to all my favorite application some of them have already integration with the context so facebook will already give me some messages here youtube will give me also notifications same happens with chrome and if you want to change something guys just hold somewhere and click on niagara settings guys this launcher has a ton of features inside you're also able to access the niagara widgets of course some of them are really paid so if you want to test them you can do this for seven days and then you need to pay them right notifications guys notification previews directly check notifications from your home screen this is the integration that i did refer to also notification summary reduce interruptions without missing out so you have also the option to somehow combine your notifications you have the option to select the music app of course it's a paid feature also for power users folders and pop ups guys and you can go inside and create folders so let me just do a favorite folder now i'm back on my home screen guys and i have here something called folder right when i click it boom a folder is going to get open long press this pop up and tap on a default pop up to add apps but you can also add shortcuts and widgets let me just show you so i'm just going to hold the finger like this i'm going to press edit and let's say right now i'm going to just put these two applications inside okay now i have folder and i still have a preview so i know already from what i have here from this snippet what i do have inside when i click on the folder guys boom i have access to my applications and remember shortcuts also to other things like widgets so this is really 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 very very customizable and the scrolling effect with this dance of the letters here is just simply fantastic of course you have also a search so if i'm inside and let's say i want to access twitter i'll just type twitter guys i will just click on the twitter it's gonna get open i just can go out one more tap and then i'm gonna be back here on my main home screen guys niagara launcher go try it and now launcher number three and i promise you this is gonna blow you away so here it is guys, that's a ratio and the version 6 really took things to the next level. This is my main screen here, I have this very beautiful weather widget. Down below guys, I have access to my Spotify, right? And just see here, I can just collapse it. I have also access to my notes, boom, clicking here, right? We'll uncollapse them, so test note 1, test note 2. If you don't like this, boom, collapse it back. And of course, I have also the option to search. Now notice some of the icons even are supported by this launcher. But this is just one piece of the puzzle. Let me just show you the next screen, guys. Next screen, it's really crazy. Here inside in the next screen, guys, I have a grouping of all of my applications. And by the way, this grouping has been done totally automated. So I have creativity, I have productivity, I have mobility, messaging, and etc. lifestyle, social. And guys, you can also see how much of these apps have been used. 16 minutes, 10 minutes. Let me show you something, guys. I'm going to click on social. And inside you can see I have Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But if you're not happy with the selection, guys, you can just hold social here, right? Delete it, lock it, sort it, change the icon, even press edit, and you can put more applications there. Let's say I want to add Telegram, selecting it from here, confirm, boom. Now, every time I click on social, guys, see, Telegram is also included. And let me just now show you the animations, guys. One tap will open Telegram, perfect, very smooth again. Contrary to the stock One UI home launch from Samsung, there is no luck here. You can see important information like storage use, data use, color, and etc. And what I do like, guys, 
is that this is not all. If I just scroll one more time to the right, guys, I'm gonna get conversations menu. And the conversation menu is really insane. It doesn't support quite so many applications, but WhatsApp is there. I see also the Telegram is there. Some of the messaging applications are integrated and it does really look stunning. Why? Because guys, see here, this message is really coming from Telegram and I had to put my authorization to allow ratio launcher to use Telegram. So I can just click here, all right, and see, I can mark as read and etc. I can even select different tags. When I click inside, you are gonna get access to your Telegram chat, but it comes with this design on top coming directly from the ratio launcher, guys. So every time I just go back, I'm gonna go back to my conversations menu. And this really helps with the clutter. All this comes here from Telegram. I do believe that WhatsApp is also supported. I do believe that also Instagram is supported and they are working to get more things done. Conversation is still in beta. Now let me show you guys some of the features. When I go to the very, very main screen and I click with the finger, guys, I'm gonna get access to the settings. The first menu is general that allows you to restart the onboarding or the setup process. You can also go back to choosing your home applications, haptic feedback, wallpapers, theming options, guys, directly integrate into this launcher. And also see here, guys, blurred backgrounds. If I just toggle this off, I'm gonna get this very, very minimalistic black and white look, which I don't like. So I'm just gonna put it back. Then you have the tile settings, of course, also backup and restore support. So you can just save your configuration. You can set up your drawers. You have also the option to change the icon pack. And right now I'm using the ratio icons because that's the recommended, but you can also go and choose the system icons. Um, if I just go back guys, and I can show you right now, see if I click on the social, I just have my standard icons. Those are the system icons. Okay. If I go back, inside the settings, I go back to tiles, I go back to the icon pack and choose the ratio icon, you're gonna see that there is a small difference. Why? Okay, see, those icons are even more simplistic. All right, let me show you the other settings. Going back to the settings, guys, you have then the option to customize your conversations, which I told you, the option to lock them with biometrics, auto reply, focus hours, and even tag your conversations. Next setting is on the conversation. Inside, you can see the supported apps that I told you. So Instagram, Facebook, okay, SMS, and Telegram. But in order to use Telegram, you need to log in, of course, with your account. Manage tags, guys. Remember, you can tag your conversations, focus hours, auto replies, biometric lock even, which is really great. Then you have the option for root, choosing the weather Unix, metric, and etc. Also, grayscale or no grayscale, then configurations on the search, and of course, access to digital well-beings. So ratio launcher, guys, is really probably one of the most interesting products. But so is now, Gara. Nova 7, I do believe, is clear. It's probably my favorite. But the most common thing with all these launchers, guys, is the fact that I really use them and I really like them. This is why I decided to show them to you. If you like content like this, guys, don't hesitate. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and yeah, please, you and your families, stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST, over and bye.